Hi, welcome to Fun Math. Today we're going to be talking about basic number properties. Here we have four different types of properties which are called identity property, commutative property, associative property, and distributive property. We already learned about the identity property for multiplication and addition. And we already learned about the commutative property of addition and multiplication. And today we will be talking about the associative property of addition. Let's take an example for the associative property of addition. Let's take 55, 55 plus 5 plus 3. I'm going to rewrite this problem here. 55 plus 5 plus 3. Okay, so here the associatives are going to be 5 and 3. Here the associatives are going to be 55 and 5. Okay, so what are associatives? Associatives are like numbers that work together or like group together. So here in this sentence, number sentence, which one numbers are associatives? If you see here, Five and three are both associatives. So we're going to have 55 as it is and plus sign. And if you add five and three, which will give you eight. What will it get you? 55 plus eight will give you 63. 63. So now let's solve this one. The associatives here are 55 and 5. So, if you add 55 and 5, what will you get? You will get 60. You'll write 3 as it is, and you will get 63. So, if you see here that the, the sums for this problem and this problem are the same, even though your associatives are different. So, now you tell me which problem is easier to solve. Which one? You know that it's this one, obviously. Because 55, the two associatives are 55 and 5, which will give you 60. That's obvious. And here, 5 and 3 is 8. So, 55 plus 8, it will, it's easy if you use a calculator. Or not, but it might take a little bit more time for 55 plus 8 to solve 60 plus 3. Alright, so now let's review what we learned today. We learned about the associative property of addition, addition and we had this side, the associatives were 55 and 5. Here the associatives were 5 and 3. Okay, but if you see here, which side is easier to solve? This one, because 55 plus 5 is 60. And here, if you solve 55 plus 3, it will give you 8. And if you add 55 and 8, it will give you 63. But they're still the same numbers. But if you see here, both of these are easy to solve. But if you see here, 60 is a round number. So it's easy to solve 60 plus 3. And here, 55 is not a round number. Neither is 8. So it's going to be, it's going to take a little bit more time than 60 plus 3. I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.